below. In the previous video you learned technique of trend to make a forecast as examples for the time series quantitative forecasting approach. Here, I will describe how to use the seasonality techniques. Seasonality means an irregular variation in the sales in a certain period of time or a certain season. Seasonality may be annual, monthly, weekly or even daily variations. Examples of seasonality are weather variations like sales of winter and summer clothes, vacations or holidays like airline travel visitors at tourist and resort centers. Rush hour traffic occurs twice a day, incoming in the morning and outgoing in the late afternoon. And theaters and restaurants often experience weekly demand patterns, with demand higher later in the week. Seasonality in a time series is expressed in terms of the amount that actual values deviate from the average value of a series. If the series tends to vary around an average value, then seasonality is expressed in terms of that average or a moving average. If trend is present, seasonality is expressed in terms of the trend value. There are two different models of seasonality, additive and multiplicative. In the additive model, Seasonality is expressed as a quantity, which is added to or subtracted from the series average in order to incorporate seasonality. In the multiplicative model, seasonality is expressed as a percentage of the trend amount, which is then used to multiply the value of a series to incorporate seasonality. In practice, businesses use the multiplicative model much more widely than the additive model because it tends to be more representative of actual experience, so we shall focus exclusively on the multiplicative model. The seasonal percentages in the multiplicative model are referred to as seasonal relatives or seasonal indexes. Suppose that the seasonal relative for the quantity of toys sold in December at a store is 1.7. This indicates that toy sales for that month are 70% above the monthly average. A seasonal relative of 0.85 for April indicates that April sales are 15% lower than the monthly average. Knowledge of seasonal variations is an important factor in retail planning and scheduling. Moreover, seasonality can be an important factor in capacity planning for systems that must be designed to handle peak loads. Knowledge of the extent of seasonality in a time series can enable one to remove seasonality from the data in order to distinguish other patterns or the lack of patterns in the series. Thus, one frequently reads or hears about seasonally adjusted unemployment and seasonally adjusted personal income. Seasonal relatives are used in two different ways in forecasting. One way is to deseasonalize data. The other way is to incorporate seasonality in a forecast. Deseasonalizing data is to remove the seasonal component from the data in order to get a clearer picture of the non-seasonal components, for example, trend. Deseasonalizing data is accomplished by dividing each data point by its corresponding seasonal relative. Incorporating seasonality in a forecast is useful when demand has both trend, or average, and seasonal components. Incorporating seasonality can be accomplished in this way. First, obtain trend estimates for desired periods using a trend equation. Then add seasonality to the trend estimates by multiplying these trend estimates by the corresponding seasonal relative, assuming a multiplicative model is appropriate. Example for seasonality multiplicative model. A shop owner wants to estimate demand for the next two quarters for a certain product. Sales data shown in this table consists of trend and seasonality. Known that quarter relatives are 1.2 for the first quarter, 1.1 for the second quarter, 0.75 for the third quarter, and 0.95 for the fourth quarter. Deseasonalize sales for quarters 1 through 8. After that, using the appropriate values of quarter relatives and the equation FT equals 124 plus 7.5T for the trend component, estimate demand for periods 9 and 10. To deseasonalize the data, each quarter sales has to be divided by its corresponding relative. 
it is clear that the resultant deseasonalized data are increasing regularly and can be expressed by linear trend. The trend equation is given, so, we can use it to calculate the sales for periods 9 and 10. Thus F9 equal 124 plus 7.5 multiplied by 9 equal 191.5 and F10 equal 124 plus 7.5 multiplied by 10 equal 199. Now, we have to multiply them by the seasonality relative to find the seasonal forecast for them known that period 9 represents the first quarter while period 10 represents the second one. Thus, the demand estimate for period 9 equal 191.5 multiplied by 1.2 equal 229.8. While, the demand estimate for period 10 equal 199 multiplied by 1.1 equal 218.9. In this example the seasonality relative is given. What if it is not? How to calculate the seasonality relative? The simple average method is used to calculate seasonal relatives. Each seasonal relative is the average for that season divided by the average of all seasons. Let us illustrate this method using the given data in the previous example, assuming that we have data for 4 more periods, so, we have data for 12 periods. The first step is to find the average of each season. So, Calculate the average for season 1 which is quarter 1. The average for season 2 which is quarter 2. The average for season 3 which is quarter 3. And the average for season 4 which is quarter 4. After that the average of the all seasons has to be calculated. Then, to obtain the seasonality relative for each season, divide the season average by the average of all seasons. Thus. The seasonality relative of the first quarter equal 183 divided by 153.5 equal 1.19. The seasonality relative of the second quarter equal 168 divided by 153.5 equal 1.1. The seasonality relative of the third quarter equal 116 divided by 153.5 equal 0.75. And the seasonality relative of the fourth quarter equal 147 divided by 153.5 equal 0.95. This is how to find the seasonality relatives to use them to deseasonalize the data then calculate the forecast for a certain season. In this video seasonality technique was explained. The coming series of videos solve some forecasting problems. So. Keep following us and do not forget to subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified with the new videos. Goodbye.